Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill and today's topic is about growing vegetables through the fall and winter months. I know it probably seems way too early, it's only the first week of August, but actually this is the time that you get them started. I'm sitting inside our hoop house, which you've probably seen in previous videos. It is nine feet long by 10 feet wide and it covers over two of our raised beds. We built it about three years ago because I was really starting to get into growing vegetables during the colder months of the year, and I just love it. This time of year, I'm using it to grow warm season crops such as eggplants and peppers, but of course during the winter months, which was its original purpose, I use it to grow different kinds of salad greens, and actually some exotic kinds of salad greens. Now this is not heated in the least, and I'll tell you what, last winter it was very challenging because we had bitterly cold temperatures and lots of snow. The plastic on it is greenhouse plastic and it will last for about four years. Now just because I have this hoop house, I don't want you to think that's the only way you can grow winter vegetables. Actually, if you just have some hoops and a sheet of plastic, you can do that too. And that's how I started out and got totally hooked. So I have all kinds of tips to share with you. Let's get started. The most important thing you need to know is to choose a very sunny location for your winter garden. You don't want anything casting any kind of a shadow on it because light is absolutely crucial for the development of the plants and also for it to warm up every day. Now we have our hoop house over here. It's been in the same spot for a year now. So I want to move it over to these two beds. We'll do that in a couple of weeks and it will be a perfect location for it. The next step is to lightly loosen the top couple of inches of the soil. I like to add in organic amendments such as compost and that will increase the soil fertility and help the plants grow really well. The secret to success is choosing very cold tolerant vegetable varieties. Some examples of what I grow are Vates kale, or you could choose red boar or winter boar kale, corn salad, which is also known as mosh, claytonia, which is miner's lettuce, and a cold tolerant spinach. This year I'm trying matador for the first time. Start your seeds early in late July or early August because it's very important they have the time to develop a good root system before the weather gets cold. Read your seed packets to determine which ones might need to be started ahead of time indoors. In my case, the only seeds I need to plant inside are the kale. The rest of the seeds can be sowed directly in the garden at this time. I mentioned earlier how you'll want to use hoops over your bed to hold the sheet of plastic. You don't want the plastic lined directly on the plants because when it starts frosting, the plastic will burn the plant's leaves. Our hoops are made from black plastic sprinkler pipe. You'll notice in this photo of a friend's garden, he used hoops made from bent metal conduit on the ends of his beds in combination with hoops from black plastic. The plastic hoops have been slipped over sticks of rebar that were pounded into the ground. Notice how he has tied each hoop to the next, which will help the cover support a load of snow during the winter. Now here's an important lesson I learned the first year since we didn't have the hoop house yet. If you are growing crops that are susceptible to the following two insects, you should cover the bed with floating row cover until it's cold enough to cover it with the plastic. The two insects I'm referring to are adult leaf miner flies which are a problem for spinach, beets, and Swiss chard, and cabbage butterflies, which are a problem for any cabbage family crop, which includes kale. The row cover acts as a physical barrier, preventing either of them from laying eggs on the plant's leaves. The first year I tried growing winter veggies, I figured these insects wouldn't be active in the fall. Boy, was I wrong. If you are going to use a sheet of plastic during the colder months, don't fry your plants. You'd be amazed at how warm it can get on a bright sunny fall day. So make sure the plants aren't getting too hot. You can ventilate them by opening the ends of the plastic during the day and reclosing them at night. 
Water the plants regularly until it gets cooler. When you start noticing condensation on the inside of the plastic, the soil will probably stay moist on its own, but it's important to monitor the soil's moisture regularly. Okay, those are the basics to get you started. I have written about winter gardening many times on my blog. To read those posts, just go to susansinthegarden.com and you'll notice there is a search box on every page near the top right corner. Or look for the category list on the lower right side of every page and choose Winter Garden. In addition, you will find information on how we built our hoop house, including a supply list and video. If you live in an area that gets cold winters, I do hope you'll give this a try. It's so easy and there is nothing better than eating your own fresh veggies during the winter months. Happy gardening!